imagine what we will be using in the future when we communicate with each other. Would it be through emails, text messages? Will we still be writing letters? There are new opportunities being developed, such as augmented reality or wearable devices. But what if, instead of going with more technology, we went back to nature? What if we could use the elements around us, such as the sunshine, the wind, or the clouds, to communicate? When I was a little kid, I didn't have a computer. There was no smartphone at the time. I didn't go online. Instead, I went outside. I rode my little bicycle to the river near my grandparents' house almost every day. I looked at the sunset. I was so fascinated by the beauty of the surroundings. I looked at the patterns of water in the river, the way the trees waved at me, and I was amazed by how sunlight shaped the shadows of everything around me, and they are different every day. I was wondering if I could be actively part of this creation. But today, my world is different. I am surrounded by technology, lots of computers. When I look around, everybody is behind the screen or more. Much of our attention is now on the digital world. I started to think about our relationship with technology and with nature. What if I could take the best out of each world and combine them? The digital world that we are eagerly building and nature that we all are given for free. In the digital world, what I like the, like the most about it is it gives us a lot of freedom and flexibility to create. You may change your appearance and I can recolor the sky. All of these changes could happen instantly. This is the superpower that we don't have in real life. But we still recognize that we live in the physical world. Augmented reality brings the digital information back to our physical surroundings. We use goggles, we put up another cell phones or another device. Our attention is still on the digital domain. What if there is a way to hide technology and bring our attention back to the physical reality? So I decided to borrow some of the nice things, the freedom and the, and the flexibility that we have in the digital world to turn nature into a new interface. I call this approach augmenting nature, using natural components around us to communicate, to embed information, and for each of us to create. Computers are still the, central, the, the integral part of this creation, but it is not in the center of our attention. And how do I do this? One day I took a piece of paper. I started to sketch out some ideas. As I draw, I had this thought. What if my creation could go beyond the boundaries of paper? What if the sunshine in my room could be modified through my drawing? That was an imagination, and later it came true. This is Light Bite. Light Bite is an interactive window. Here, the light is sunlight, and Bite is a term that we use to mean the base, basic unit of information in uh, computation and telecommunications. Light by resembles the interplay of technology and sunshine. As you walk into this space, you can become more than an observer by actively creating. Light bite is structured as a massive uh, facade of some pixels. Each of these pixels 
um, adjust a, a portion of light. There are hundreds of them, each is individually controlled to respond to your creation instantly and wirelessly. All the technology and computers are hidden from the viewers. This, is, this allows, the, allows the viewers to experience the physical present, the sunlight, the shadows, the kinetic movement, the wood. And in here, I purposely chose to use wood as the material to let the sunshine go through. The wood from its texture to the relationship between light and shadow, again, recalls nature in our urban jungle. Later, I put out a couple of phones near light bite. I was curious about what people may do. I remember there was a guy who draws, drew something and he just waited. He waited until someone walked by to scare, to scare them. And some people turned this into a game, they started to play tic-tac-toe on it. <laughs> Where people started to build on each other's creation and make a story with sunlight. Maybe in the future when you are thinking of someone. I chose sunlight not just because it is one of the most fundamental elements in nature we can access in the urban environment. It is also because the sun is a symbol of power. It is something that we don't have control over. Now I can borrow the power we have in the digital world to augment nature. Also, the sun, sunlight and shadows, like many other natural elements, are ephemeral. This reminds me that our physical existence in this current moment is also ephemeral. Going back in time, I take the beauty from my childhood and bring it to the future where technology may be used differently. Let's reimagine nature. <laughs> 